the other modification I have, and I talked to you guys about this, is I have um, an auto square uh, mechanism. So on um, what you're supposed to do, properly set up a shop bot, you've got these uh, stop blocks back here. And the gear in your motor, when you, when you turn on your shop bot, what you're supposed to do is before you lock the steppers up, there's if you have that yellow bar back here, you're supposed to pull it tight so that uh, this side and this side of the gantry rest tight up against those blocks. And you do that and you power your machine on um, and that'll square it. And that'll only square it if you've actually done the squaring procedure and set these blocks um, properly. And that's actually a really good way to, to square a machine. The, the problem with it, if you wanna get like super, super accurate about it, is that when you pull a motor that's unlocked tight against these, and you lock it up, if you're kind of halfway in between a, a step of the motor, the motor might try to walk backwards a step or walk forwards a step. So it, it's not like totally, totally accurate. So I actually, uh, with the help of my friend Gary, um, I added an auto squaring system and, and it's actually pretty simple. So it starts with this. So basically on your, if you've got an RBK uh, controller board, there's a jumper right here. And this is what locks the X1 and X2 steppers together. So as you know, you know, you've got a stepper motor over here and a stepper motor over here and they turn in unison and your, your gantry moves up and down the, um, up and down the table. If you pull this stepper, uh, this this um, jumper uh, pin right here, jump, pull the jumper, whatever it's called, it'll actually shut off. I believe it's your X2 stepper. So if you pull that and you try to run your machine, your gantry only one of your motors will run, and your gantry will will rack across the table, which is obviously something that you don't want. Um, so what I've done here is I've actually taken the jumper out and run it to this relay that's right here that's connected to one of the ShopBot outputs. So I can actually, with one of the outputs in the ShopBot software, shut off my far stepper motor. And I can show you here, if I, so if I go in, I've got this hooked up to output eight. And if you watch carefully, let's see if I can get this on camera. Um, I'm gonna jog on X very slowly. So see how I'm racking my gantry back and forth? I'm actually twisting it like an inch, and that's because the far stepper is turned off. Now, if I turn that stepper back on by way of this output, and, whoop, nope, I don't want to do that. Let's see. There we go. So that stepper is turned back on. Now when I jog, both steppers are running in unison. So that's like part one of the auto square system, the ability to rack it back and forth. The second part is I've actually added a proximity sensor both on this side and as you saw before on the far <coughs> far side of the gantry normal shop bots only have one uh, single uh, sensor to do the uh, do the c3 routine so what happens when I do my my zeroing routine the the gantry actually moves back and it measures the distance um, between this sensor and the one that's over there so it can measure like how far apart they are and I have that preset at a number. And then what it does, it goes, okay, well, if we know that we're currently this far apart, but we actually need to be this much, it will unlock one of the steppers and twist the gantry back into square and then relock the stepper. So once you power it up, it actually just, again, automatically squares um, your gantry with the accuracy of the stepper motors instead of just having to rely on that metal block right there. And not only is it a little bit more accurate, but it's like automatic, which is really